We do have the tank and index of sentiment certainly affecting stocks and how they're moving today. Also advancing today on higher commodity prices in the region and takeover offers that are going on in Australia. We'll talk about those in a moment. But first, we're seeing the MSCI Asia Pacific index up for the fourth time. Just the other day, we were talking about an unsolicited bid from MacArthur Coal of Australia. Today, there are more offers out there for Australian companies. Tell us about that. Egg. Exactly. Well, first, Peabody Energy was snubbed by MacArthur Cole. We talked about that after the unsolicited. Melissa, some breaking news from Hong Kong. Melissa. Good morning to you. We're going to talk about the markets in just a moment, but three big stories out of Japan I want to highlight for you right now. And first, talking about that index of sentiment, the Tonkin index of sentiment. Uh, it is up. It is still in negative territory at negative 14, but it remains uh, traveling in the right direction. This is also the best reading we have seen since September 2008 when the collapse of Lehman Brothers of course triggered uh, the global recession and also the worst financial crisis that Japan has seen in post-war times. Bank of Japan using the survey to help it to decide its policy. The next policy setting meeting is set for Tuesday. Also looking at a weaker yen as well helping to increase the value of overseas sales of course but a negative tank in reading still means the pessimists outweigh the optimists. There is some optimism when it comes to auto sales. We just got some numbers about 30 minutes ago now uh, from Toyota. Those numbers up 51 percent in the home market here of Japan. But of course we know that the probe is ongoing in the United States because of problems with sudden acceleration. One of the other stories I wanted to highlight out of Tokyo for you, an IPO and one of the largest we've seen in a couple of years now. That is for Daiichi Life Insurance leaping 14 percent on its IPO on its first day of trading here in Tokyo looking at the markets a sea of green hope you like the color a lot of people do looking at the MSCI Asia Pacific index up for the fourth time in five days we've got the uh, Hang Seng up the uh, Nikkei up and also Indonesian stocks up now Melissa we've got some M&A action down under tell us about that certainly do certainly do well yesterday we were talking about Peabody Energy saying no uh, actually, Peabody Energy getting the no from uh, MacArthur Coal. Uh, we're looking at their stocks. Stocks climbing today, 25% in four sessions. Bright Food Group, also the biggest food company in Shanghai, making a very sweet bid for Australian sugar company CSR. One other to highlight, that's Lee here Gold, strong today after an offer, but saying no to the offer by Newcrest of $8.4 billion, saying it simply undervalues the company. Lindsay? Thanks very much, Melissa. Now it's taken more than a year.